Welcome back to Indianapolis, where the uh, Drum Corps International Winter Meetings voting membership meeting has just broken up and uh, several votes were taken. Now, we, we told you that uh, some of the proposals, rules change proposals and the like, did not make it out of the instructor's caucus, so they weren't even considered here by the voting membership. But uh, the key issue, of course, was the any instrumentation rule, and it has failed the uh, vote by the voting membership despite passing the instructors on a 19 to 12 vote. It was a secret ballot. Uh, the uh, results, simple enough, it fails. Uh, proposal allowing changes to the color guard sheets, those passed unanimously. The uh, proposal, and pardon me, <laughs> I'm a little out of breath here because we've been uh, we've been running around. The uh, proposal to allow live sampling in real time uh, passed here. Uh, it, it passed the instructors uh, caucus 29 to 2, and it passed here in the voting membership meeting unanimously. So that will go into effect. A uh, move to move the judges closer to the cores and the audience uh, whenever possible. Uh, that was, it was more of a policy recommendation from the instructors than a rules change. And the uh, voting membership, after uh, discussing it, has decided to uh, send that to the uh, steering committee for a report by April 1st on what that uh, might involve given the different venues that Drum Corps International hosts programs in, hosts their contests in, that uh, it may not be possible in every one of those stadiums to um, allow for that to happen, for the judges to actually be positioned any closer than, say, the press box. The proposal to uh, allow 18-minute intervals instead of 17-minute intervals between the start of one corps' time on the field and the next, that uh, has failed the vote here by the voting membership. And another uh, proposition that would have, a proposal that would have put 11 judges uh, different panels of 11 judges on both quarterfinals and semifinals, and then the finals panel would have been selected from those 22 judges. That uh, also failed here uh, in a vote by the voting membership. So again, to review, the any instrument proposal has not passed. It has failed here in the vote by the voting membership. Uh, the only things that have passed are the changes to the guard judging sheets, allowing live sampling in real time, and uh, perhaps moving the judges closer to the audience and changing the judging panels during championships weeks, both of those are being studied a little bit more. So they're, they're still alive, but not going to be implemented at this time. So, uh, live from Indianapolis, I'm getting a note. The, oh, they amended, yes, that's right. So the vote on any instrumentation happened early on. It was uh, like the second thing voted on by the voting membership. But then there was an amendment at the end of the meeting offered by the Blue Coats to still allow any instrumentation, but only uh, if it were up to eight people, eight solely, essentially, a small ensemble. Uh, that too was voted on in a secret ballot and that too failed. So two attempts to pass any instrumentation here in the voting membership and both of them have failed. We look forward to hearing your reaction, your comments. Feel free to write them in here on the page. And we'll have more from Indianapolis as the DCI 2020 winter meetings are wrapping up. I'm Dan Potter. Thanks.